So this is something that I haven't I uh, I haven't done in a while, like a long time. I haven't done this in a long time, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been tagged by my good buddy uh, Blue Goblin O One. Now I got tagged about a few days ago. I just haven't been able. Uh, I've been kind of working on other things, but now I'm finally getting around to do it. So Gabby, I hope you're watching. I finally I finally did the video. <laughs> I hope you're watching. And I hope you enjoy my answers. Anywho, um, so it's pretty much ten questions, your basic ten questions, and keep in mind they're probably not going to be like the best answers because, as I've said time and time again, when I get comics, it's few and far between, and I <laughs> I don't have the money to get re current stuff unless it's in trade, and even then, that's difficult. So, yeah, these are going to be some interesting questions uh, to answer. So, first and foremost, uh, first question. Favorite solo hero series? More or less just favorite solo title right now. Well, this I can answer right off the bat. I'm going to say right now, uh, Matt Fraction's Hawkeye. I've, like I've said before, and I've done reviews on the first two trades, Hawkeye is amazing. Like, it is awesome. A close second, I would have to say, is uh, The Spider. Uh, from Dynamite. The Spider is amazing. It really, really sucks that it's getting cancelled. That is a fantastic title. It pisses me off to no one that it's ending at issue 18. Oh, it's so good. But yeah, first and foremost, Matt Fraction's Hawkeye. I'm pretty sure I heard Blue Goblin just die a little inside for here because he's not the biggest Fraction fan, but god damn is Matt Fraction's Hawkeye amazing. And uh, the, David List's The Spider from Dynamite is really good, too. I think in terms of other solo titles, I think I'm going to put in there... Uh, hmm. If I was to pick, like, another solo title, it would definitely be Mark Wade's Daredevil. There you go. Those are the big three right there. Anyway, uh, number two, favorite team book. Now, like I said, I've been able to read a lot of, of current, you know, team book stuff, but I would have to say... Um, you know, favorite team... I guess you'd say favorite superhero team. I'm gonna change that around. Haha, <laughs> in your face. My, my answer's my rules, more or less. So, my favorite team would have to be... As you can see right here, yeah, the Avengers. I love the Avengers. Now, just I love Justice League, not the book right now, but I've always been a fan of the Justice League as well, but I've always been a fan of the Earth's Mightiest Heroes, you know? I've always get excited to see, you know, Cap and Iron Man and Hulk all work together to, you know, take on the enemy that no one hero can face. So I've always been a fan of the Avengers. Anyway, so there's my second question answered. Third question is, favorite hero? Uh, I've got a lot. I have pretty much a lot of heroes that I'm a fan of. I don't, I'm not really a fan of one... Well, actually, no, I am. I'm more or less... Uh, I have hero, favorite heroes from all the different books... Uh, from titles. From DC, it's Superman, even though I'm not really a fan of what they're doing with Superman right now. I, uh, I've always been a fan of Sup I've been a fan of Superman. I really love the character. Uh, so that's DC. Uh, over at Marvel, uh, it's the Hulk. I've always loved the Hulk. Uh, and I will, and I don't want to go into, like, big details to why, because I'll, more than likely, on the Milky Juice channel with, uh, cu with, uh, Coolio Vids, Dan, and Duke, and uh, Shades will probably do a top five list, and I'll go into further detail there. But right now, yeah, Mar at DC it's Superman, at Marvel it's Hulk. Uh, in terms of other things, I think at, uh, for Dynamite it's the Spider. I love the uh, of uh, I love the the character of the Spider. He's a very um, relatable pulp hero, more or less. Um, over at Image, it has to be at Image. It's Death. Death from John Hickman's East of West. That guy is so awesome. He's pretty much Clint e he is pretty much Clint Eastwood brought back as the horse first horseman of the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'd also have to say from Image Tony Chu from uh, Jonathan La from uh, from, uh, from uh, John Layman's uh, Chu series. Uh, Tony Chu is also a very good character as, as well. Um. At at uh, IDW, it has to be... <laughs> Man, I can't really pick 
uh, IDW because that's really has a lot of uh, uh, under licensed care uh, titles they're doing. But I think that's about it for me. I haven't been able to read a lot of Vertigo. Of I mean, yeah, I've read Vertigo. Excuse me. I meant to say uh, Valiant. That's what I meant to say. So I haven't been able to read a lot of Valiant, but I that is on my to do list. Anywho. <laughs> so there's more or less my uh, number three question answered. At num uh, number four is favorite supervillain. Uh, for Marvel, it has got to be Ultron, more or less Ultron. Uh, at DC, it's Brainiac. Uh, at number at um over at uh over at Image. It, well, actually no, Vertigo. It's Skinner Sweet. Uh, from American Vampire. At Image, it has to be... Oh, well... Um, over at Image, there are some very interesting villains in Image, but... <laughs> there are so many, like, I can't even pick one from Image. For Dynamite, that goes the same. There are some really um, interesting, rather interesting villains you see in The Spider. I'd have to agree with Gobby that The Fly is definitely a good villain. So, there's one. But definitely for the big two, it's Brain it's Ultron and Brainiac. So, yeah, there's my fourth question. There's the fourth question. Uh, question number five is Marvel or DC? Marvel. Not just, like, I've always been a fan of Marvel more than I have DC. I love DC. Granted, I'm not really enjoying what DC's been doing lately. But Marvel has, not, has always been, you know, Marvel's had its rough points. I will be the first to say I won't, I can't defend Marvel all the time, but what they're doing now with Marvel now is really good. I absolutely love Hawkeye. The only thing, and I have to agree with my good friend Movie Geek Seventeen, is the freaking renumbers. Why can't we just have a, a run? You know, why can't we have a run and then someone jumps off and go, moves on? You know, why does it always have to be relaunched? You know, for a jumping on point. I never got that as well. So. Marvel, you're getting absolutely freaking ridiculous with these stupid relaunches. Granted, I, I would prefer I prefer a relaunch over a, re, a total universe reboot. So, you know, beggars can't be choosers. But and again, Mar you know, during the age of Quesada, it what there were some dark times there, my friends. There are some dark times, but um, I think Marvel now has gotten better. But those freaking relaunches, man. But however, we have been getting a lot of cool things out of the, out of those. Um, those renumberings, not relaunching, but renumberings. Uh, we've been getting, you know, Matt Fraction's Hawkeye, Kelly C. DeConnick's Captain Marvel, uh, so many things, more or less. So, yeah, Marvel for that one. But if I actually know, the other thing is that I'm going to cheat on this question as well, because uh, Gobby did it as well. Uh, I'm going to say IDW. If I could choose outside of Marvel and DC, IDW, because IDW kills it on everything they do. Transformers, MLP, uh, uh, Star Trek, X-Files, Mars Attacks, I wish they still had Doctor Who. Uh, so many things that I love. It's pretty much IDW takes majority of my money, more or less. Yeah. So if I could choose, if, so Marvel for that question. But if I had to choose outside of that, definitely IDW with Image right next. So when I actually when you think about it, here's how I would number it: at number one IDW, at number two Image, and at number three Marvel. So those would be the top three companies for me in that in that order, more or less. So yeah. Anyway, uh, so that's um, now moving on to question number six: favorite event. Well, um, there's a few events that I really liked. Of course, you can't deny that Infi In Infinity Gauntlet was like the one of the greatest uh, Marvel events, if not comic events ever. Um, so Infinity Gauntlet. World War Hulk I like, even though, yeah, not a lot of people are a fan of Hero vs. Hero, but I liked it. It was pretty self-contained. There was It was kind of just... Hulk was kind of pretty much justified for what he did um, in some cases. And I really dug that fight, that final fight between Hulk and Sentry. Oh my God, was that one of the best comic book fights ever? Uh, another one is the Sinet Another one of my favorite events from DC. Actually, this is from DC. Sinestro Core War. That was a great. Um, that was a great event. I loved a lot of the stuff in there. 
Um, and again, another great battle is between Sodom Yacht and Superboy Prime. That is one of the most, like, that's like Dragon Ball Z level action in that fight. So the fight between Superboy Prime and Sodom Yacht in there is really cool. And not just the fights, they're just really great stories as well. It's in um, that, uh, Sinestro Core War and Blackest Night. I Can't Deny Blackest Night was really good, even though it was really long. Um, another one of my favorite events has got to be... I actually did like Avengers vs. X-Men, even though, again, it was hero versus... It was hero versus hero again. Uh, it did make a lot more sense, and Scott was kind of a dick. But then again, you kind of saw it from... You know, the, uh, from the X-Men standpoint as well. So, yeah. Avengers... AVX I also thought was pretty fun. But, yeah, I don't really have a favorite, like, number one... Well, actually, no, I did always... Have, I did do a top ten favorite events. I don't know if the video is still up. Anyway, that's rambling, but... In the, I have so many events that I like, guys. Okay, so that... Moving on to question number seven. Least favorite book. Least favorite book. Um... Hmm... I, again, I haven't been able to read current stuff, so more. Of, so I haven't been able to read current stuff. Once again, I have to I have to reestablish that. But if I had to say the the book that I I've read and I said I I've literally said out loud, I can't believe I spent freaking money on this was uh, Mark Guggenheim's Young X Men. I'm I'm I don't, I'm not surprised it lasted twelve issues. I'm surprised it even lasted further than that because that was terrible. And I, and I got that at a dollar bin because I saw Dust, and most of you guys know that Dust is one of my favorite X-Men. And I was like, ooh, Dust is in this, okay. And I kind of went, and I spent only $5 on it. I spent $5 too many. Um, I think another book that I absolutely hated was uh, the Tarzan Predator crossover. And it pisses me off because the Tarzan Predator story, that made so much sense, you know? Predator and Tarzan. How do you mess that up? Oh my god. That was a terrible crossover. Oh, man. Oh, and another one in terms of crossovers. Uh, the DC Wildstorm Dream War. That was terrible. Because it turns out, I'm going to spoil this for you now. It turns out that it was all a dream. I'm not joking. It was all a dream between the DC, uh, the, in the fight between the DC and Wildstorm characters. And it wasn't even the real DC characters to begin with. Ugh. Oh, man. Anyway. So, I guess there's my kind of answer for number seven. Number eight. A book that you like that everyone hates. Well, again... Um... I think... I'm gonna go with... So I'm gonna go with, uh... Because, again, I have to say that, you know, money is a problem with me, so that's kind of the difficult point with this, is I think a book that I liked and everyone else hated was, I have to say, Maximum Carnage. I like Maximum Carnage. I know a lot of people complain that it's, like, uber long, and admittedly, yeah, 14, a 14-part 14 story is something insane, but I thought it was pretty well done. I thought um, the story in it was really good. Um, I think that was pretty much Carnage, um, Cletus Cassidy's defining story. Because when you think about it, what's the one story everyone goes to when they think about Carnage? Maximum Carnage. It pretty much solidified that Carnage would be a remembered Spider-Man villain. Because if we didn't have Maximum Carnage, he would, Carnage would just be a forgettable uh, Spider-Man villain. The only one everyone, any, only other symbiote and anyone would talk about is Venom. So if they didn't have Maximum Carnage, there would be no like Carnage hype. Everyone would just be like, "Oh yeah, it's that other symbiote." If it wasn't for Maximum Carnage, at least that's what I think in my opinion. So I actually like that book, and I guess you could say that's an event, kind of. Yeah. So there's an answer for that number six. So, question number nine is least favorite event. I've got a few. Least favorite events. Fear itself, uh, Civil War, because that just got pointless. Uh, Civil War, didn't really care for. Uh, I think in terms of other events that I just didn't care for, 
Age of Ultron, as much as I love Ultron, and it had some great... Oh, Age of Ultron had some fantastic stuff in there. But then that ending. That ending. Although, to be fair, it did make a little sense for the event... For the, um... For, a, for the Age of Ultron stuff, you know, what happened, you know, Galactus coming into the Ultimate Universe, and then we got An it, um, uh, we got Angela from the Spawn Universe in here. So, it did have some moments, but it was more like, this is, okay, it did have consequences, but the thing is, it was just basically saying, hey, Age of Ultron's going to have this, you're going to have this now in Ultimate Universe, and this in Guardians of the Galaxy. Ta-da! It was literally just to say, go read these other books. That's how the ending felt. Because it was supposed to be, oh, you've messed with time travel so many times that you've broken everything. You know, you blew it all up. And then it just turns out to be one big marketing campaign. That's how I felt it was. Oh, boy. So, least favorite events right there, people. Uh, if you like them, that's fine. If you like the, those events, that's totally fine. No ill will against you, but... Me, personally, I didn't care for those. And there's a few others. Anyway, number ten. The final one. Favorite comic book jail. Um, I think... Um, now, normally people would say Arkham Asylum, but as to agree with my friend's Blue Goblin Mount Vernon kid, it's not really a prison. It's more of a mental... It's more of a mental ward. It's not really how... It, although you could say that it houses the criminally insane... But it's still, again, it's an asylum, not so much a prison. Um, although it is kind of treated like a prison. But that's kind of the cheating question, right? Uh, the cheating answer. I'm going to have to say, like, in terms of uh, prisons, I'm going to have to say the... The, uh... Uh, the raft, the... Yeah, the raft, the vault... Uh, the cube, basically all the Marvel prisons, more or less. I really, d I really dig the Marvel prisons. Uh, yeah. So the Marvel prisons. I want to say some something else um, because I feel like there's another prison. I re um, I, I'm forgetting that I really like, but eh. Oh, and Blackgate. You know, you can't deny Blackgate's awesome. From also from Batman. Anyway. So those are my ten questions I've answered. Uh, granted, they probably weren't the best answers, but still, at least I answered them. So thanks for that question, Go for that question, Gobby. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, so now it's getting on to tagging uh, three other people. So let me think here. I'm going to tag Milan Jeftic1992 because I can't wait to hear what insane rap rantings he has for the uh, for this. So Milan Jeftic, Coolio Vids. Uh, yeah, Coolio Vids 101. And shades, shades at night. Exactly. Yeah. So there you go. Milan Jeftic, nineteen ninety-two. Coolio Vids, one hundred and one. And shades at night. I can't wait to see what they come up with for this. So yeah. All right, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. And also, I know you're watching this, uh, Gabi. Hope you enjoyed my quite uh, my uh, answers. Granted, they weren't the best answers, but still, they're they're what you got. All right, guys. Uh, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm out.